this mom has two babies, so it's important for us to have a crib for baby. Our kid's corner. So we got a community kitchen, and it's totally up to them who cooks. Erica Alston walks us through what looks like a condominium, but is actually the new Penn North Women and Children's Unit. It's run entirely on donations inside the Community Resource Center on North Cary Street. This is home. We created home for mommies and babies um, because we realized that one of the biggest obstacles to women getting clean was having to leave their children. So why leave your children? Bring them with you. It's space that provides an immediate need for the six women and seven children who live here. All of the moms go through intense outpatient treatment and get help with job, parenting, and life skills. They have a lot to offer. I can go back to school. Um, get my GED, things that I would like to do, get, you know, start working again. They gave me a second chance to start my life over. We were couch to couch, basement to basement, um, very unstable. Switch. LaTanya is living here with her 13-year-old honor roll field hockey and lacrosse playing daughter, now at school. She says the program has been a life changer. Really, I feel like an, a part of society again, an acceptable part of it. Like. I'm doing the right thing. I don't, you know, feel like, you know, that stigma of being an addict. I feel great. <laughs> All of this in just the week that the program's been up and running. It's security, says this mom. She calls it home, which I can say in the last couple of years, we haven't really had a place we called home. It was either we're going back to the building or, you know, we're going to so-and-so's house but she actually says home. As you can imagine, there's a waiting list to get in here and another unit just like it's going to open in April. Here in West Baltimore, Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.